Today, CBS 17 has partnered with the American Cancer Society to help raise money for the Real Men Wear Pink campaign happening now to help men get involved in the fight against breast cancer. These real men put in work to raise money and awareness about the impact breast cancer has on so many men and women and families. We sat down with two of this year's participants to hear what inspired them to get involved. I'm joined today by David Evert, one of the local community leaders supporting this Real Men Wear Pink initiative. Thank you for taking the time to talk with me today. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. So cancer affects so many people, and this cause is deeply personal to so many. So tell me, why do you take time out of your busy life to commit to this cause? Uh, for me, it's a lot about the opportunity uh, for a cure, really in the short term. Uh, the American Cancer Society has done a tremendous job with research grants and um, onboard researchers. Getting is very close. The truth is breast cancer is not nearly as dangerous a, a diagnosis as it used to be, but it's still affecting one out of eight women. So how long have you been committed to the American Cancer Society and some of these initiatives? Yeah, this is my third year uh, in Real Men Wear Pink. Uh, it's a great team, a lot of fun. Um, they're all men that have had um, you know, uh, this sense of helplessness when a woman that mattered, um, that they loved, was diagnosed with cancer, um, breast cancer in this case. And, um, you know, men don't like being helpless. We like solving problems. We like uh, putting in the effort, uh, the sweat equity, and, and trying to be active and, and, and changing our world for the better. So that's what the guys do. That's incredible. So why should people watching show their support for this initiative and, of course, just the American Cancer Society, especially right now? Well, right now we need it more than ever. Um, like every business, the American Cancer Society was impacted. Um, there was significant um, reduction in fundraising in the spring. Most of the fundraising is done events-based, so that's gone. Um, sadly, that means that we've had to cut back on some programs like Road to Recovery, which provides rides to uh, patients that just can't make it. Uh, maybe their, their spouse or loved one or caregiver is you know working a full-time job, which is providing them insurance, can't get them to treatment. We've had to cut that program. This this was a program that provided um, over 16,000 rides in North Carolina last year, and it shut down. Also participating in this Real Men Wear Pink campaign this year is Jay Hosfeld. Thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So you are a very busy man. You work in the video game industry. Some people may recognize you from your involvement in Fortnite. So why do you decide to dedicate your extra time and energy outside of work and family to this cause? So I think like many men my age, you know, my typical day is go to work, um, you know, do family things. And then one day a friend of mine invited me to a Real Men Wear Pink event. And you kind of snap out of it and you realize there's, there's people that need our help. And it's so easy to help. Um, and it, for me personally, I reflected on how many people in my life have been affected by breast cancer. Uh, my grandmother had it, my aunt has it, my wife's best friend is dealing with it this year. And they showed me a way that I can help. So you're a part of this Consultants versus Cancer group. Tell me a little bit about this partnership that you guys have come together for. Yeah, so Consultants versus Cancer is an idea that came about this year as we're all locked down because years prior to our ways to make money were social events in person. You're talking like 5Ks, golf tournaments, barbecues, parties, poker matches. None of those could happen this year. And so we were thinking of a way, how can we raise money and offer what we do um, to, to help bring in, in money? And so we're all, all sitting at our homes right now doing our jobs and doing what we're professional at. How can we take that knowledge we each have and raise money? So we set up a consulting service and we have men from you know, IT, uh, I, I'm offering animation mentorship consulting, and cool. I already have a couple students. I've been speaking to classrooms, and surprisingly, I've raised more money this year than years past, so the consulting versus cancer has been a great idea. So again, tell people, viewers who are watching, why should they reach out, call the telethon number, support this initiative, and of course, support the American Cancer Society, especially right now? So yes, please support Real Men Wear Pink. We need your help more than ever this year. Uh, we have raised our own personal goals and we would love for everyone to help us, uh, help us match these goals. And this is, if there's any year to help Real Men Wear Pink and the American Cancer Society, this is the year to do it. Absolutely, thank you so much for your time and your work on this initiative. We appreciate right. it so much. Great, thank you. Absolutely.